there was gradually accumulating experience whilst working as a paralegal which meant that every year I may not have been successful I was actually gaining more and more experience and maybe becoming yeah. a better prospect or a better applicant so I guess I also knew in my mind that uh, as time passes by things may work out so taking back your power I mean I've got I've got another I've got another example which is I'm sure a lot oh, of people yeah. have yeah, yeah yeah I'm sure people have um like uh challenges in the workplace sometimes but this is from like some time ago but I just remember working somewhere where um for the, for the most part yeah the company was all right but uh there were some people let's say bosses or a couple of people who work above me were you're very tricky people to work with so you could say they were um kiss, kiss house people. not even that you know i'd say even just like bullies really bullies okay. psychological bullies always find a way to make you feel small or make things feel like they're your fault and um and yeah and it just you know they did probably raises your anxiety level at work you know if you think you're not really doing a good job but it could be unfair kind of people who are maybe not never really on your side and don't really seem to have an interest in you progressing but but yeah really just making your life difficult so thing is, in that difficult. so in that um scenario how did you control that yeah yeah okay so i feel it's easy to you know quote unquote lose power in such a situation because especially if you're someone who's junior you understand you know if you work in a place where there's a bit of a hierarchy yeah. and you know that you want to progress the last thing you want to do is maybe rock the bows or or point the finger or create a fuss around yourself i think a lot of people's reactions might be to be quite stoic and really just yes i should just just carry on and be resilient like, is this what resilience means i just carry on um but, but at the end you realize you know, this sort of thing isn't really sustainable and i mean for me personally I just have personal values where I don't think people should go about treating other humans a certain way, really. Um, you know, I feel like there should be respect. I really want you to go in deeper, but I know you're not going to. Go deeper now. No, I mean, let's, let's keep things anonymous, right? Mm. But then, yeah, taking back your power, I suppose, I really did have to strip down any ideas of um, being, maybe being afraid of confronting more senior people and taking the necessary steps to, to just improve and preserve your situation and having to deal with the, the repercussions of that. So, you know, if you... Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, so once you decided to, like, strip, once you decided to, like, you know, get rid of, like, not be afraid of mm -hmm. confrontating more senior people, and you actually did, how did that feel? It felt good because at the end, at the end of the day, my situation, you know, got resolved. Um... I guess the challenge with it is that people will level certain accusations at you and you just have to accept sometimes that either you could be better at certain things or you know they're being highly unreasonable and you let somebody else decide because I, I just raised it with the, the powers that be or the necessary channels and luckily I fell on the right side of it which was good so if, after I did manage to flag these issues which you could say internally or like politically are they're quite difficult things to raise um yeah, the rest of my time working in that team was good. So I felt like, yeah, at one stage I was maybe, I felt restricted in what I could do because I wasn't too sure if it was the right course to take. Um, but at the end, I said, look, I can't tolerate this anymore. I think it's wrong. And I'm just going to, yeah, raise, raise an issue and take back my power, if you like. So for anyone that has gone through similar situations that you that you're going through now or that you have gone through in the past what mm -hmm. would your advice be to them yeah i yeah my advice would be to look at so say i mean maybe i think you mean the that work that work example maybe yeah or any example yeah. any example any that you've given yeah I, I i guess in all of those situations it's um they always they always start off with feeling dissatisfied or sad or hurt really those emotions you go through that are just a lot less enjoyable and make your life a bit worse so then when you're feeling that way just to confront them and think why am i feeling like this and is there anything i can do um to overcome it and i'm, I'm sure and i'm sure in most cases a lot of people might feel including those who've maybe taken action to take back their power you, pr you probably do feel powerless in those situations you do feel like something's been taken away from you maybe it's your 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 physical capabilities or 
maybe it's a, a job prospect which you're now feeling that you're inadequate to to have or or maybe it's these people making my life hell but this is this is maybe the status quo this is how it is but it's just confronting the fact that you feel upset but there is a there is a way you can go about things to make it better for yourself and and just uh just just finding it within yourself and um yeah speaking to other people about um how to put a plan of action in place to make your situation better and i think in all cases there does there is an element of of uh, of courage and courage and discipline involved i think in trying to make these things happen to improve your life for the better Ooh. Yeah. well thank you very much paul no worries chili it's my pleasure <laughs>